Hey, we're uh, sitting out front while Sunny naps. She fell asleep in the car. And I want to see if I can try to explain this. Hey, Max is here. See if I can explain it while focusing also on them. But, um. Okay, pull this one up in the air. Okay. How far? All the way in the roof? The other thing is, I, I think it's really cool because there's so many parenting gurus and experts out there where you can't actually see their interaction with their kids. So I'm kind of creating this. I, I want to do as many of these as possible with when I'm with them so you can kind of see practically what is required uh, from a mom uh, in terms of focus. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right, ready? Do you think I can go how high? That high. Ready, go. Okay. Um, but I wanted to give an example of what, wanted to give an example of a situation where you build up frustration towards your kids. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hey, so right now, I'm just making this little video where I talk on this video. And so that's what I was focusing on right now. That's what I'm doing right now. So what? you can throw those up in there. If you want to talk too, you can talk too. Hey, so. <laughs> can you explain what we're doing? We're just throwing mums up in there. You're throwing mums up in there. <laughs> yeah. So this is part of it because Yeah. I have, oh, okay. What I was going to say is, one of it's really easy as a mom to get into like or parent to get into a pattern of yelling and i've talked yeah. about this before in other videos but there is literally there's literally a switch that goes off when you become a parent where you go into irritation and worry and like especially for women i think for moms this pattern of everything is sort of like an emergency within yourself like getting to the grocery store, or getting everybody on a nap on time, and blah, 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 blah. So all these different things. Um, and you can look for yourself, like, that experience, but it requires some self-awareness. So for me, uh, you know, in these past three years, and especially since Seneca's been born, I've been noticing that ramp up. So I can definitely see it ramps up when you have more kids because you're having to direct more than one person. So it's, like, two on one now. Um, so how do you support yourself to stay grounded within that? Because again, all these things are very automated. Like the yelling at your kids is a automated thing that has been passed down. You literally will do exactly what your mother did in that, in a, in a particular scenario. And I'm going to explain one now. Um, and it's downloaded and that, and you have no memories of that, of the ages, like probably less than four generally for most people. Okay, stop. Yeah. But I am going to talk a little more. Okay. So I don't agree to stop. So we're going to, I'm going to talk a little bit more. Stop. I'm going to talk a little more and then just to explain something really quick and then I'll stop. Okay. And then we can play some more, but you can go play. You know, I bet that, did you give the scarecrows some mums? No. I did you give them some mums? Now would they eat? No. Do they eat mumps? No. What about the little birds on that sign? On that sign by the scarecrows? Um, do um, they do? Oh, maybe it needs some. Okay, so. It's called cotton cotton cotton. Um. It's called cotton cotton. So, anyways. Hey, it's more it's challenging. Hey, yes. It's called cotting caw. Cotting caw? It's called cotting caw. Cotting caw? And then when you fly, <laughs> you can it. So it's ch very challenging. And that's so it's so automatic. It's very challenging to be aware of. And then it's like when you're in a pattern of getting frustrated and it builds every day and then you carry it over to the next day you end up basically turning into a bitch like that's that's that expression right and you can and that's st very stereotypical in our society i need you i understand but at the moment i'm making this video so i'm gonna continue talking on this video for probably another like five or seven five to seven minutes
So we're I'm gonna do that a little bit longer just because I'd like to explain this point that I'm walking through uh, and that I've supported myself with because I think it will support other people with their kids because it supported me a lot not to get frustrated. Mom, 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 mom. What's up? Mom, what's so, up? So you throw up in the air and you try to get it. I understand the game. I understand, but what I was saying is I'm gonna I'm focusing on making this video. Oh. I'm not playing that game at the moment. Well, but hey. once I'm done with the video, if I can focus on this video for about five to seven minutes, well, then then when I'm done, seven I'll is play a bunch that. Of, <laughs> seven is a bunch of time. Is seven too long? Yeah. Okay, how about five minutes? I'm probably not too. Five is not too many. But let's do it. Let me do this for five minutes. Let me focus. And you practice giving the mums, just like you were a little bit b ago before we started playing the throwing game. So keep keep playing the game where you're giving the mums to, to the pumpkin. Here, look, look, look. There's some right there. Can you play that game for like a little bit longer? And then when I'm done with this video, I'll continue playing with you. Okay, can you play that game by yourself while I'm doing this video? I see. How about I hold mine, you throw yours, and I'll throw mine every now and then, okay? Does that sound good? You tell me when. Okay. So, one of the coolest things, I mean, I've done so many things to support myself with all this. I highly recommend, if you're a mom, find out what we're doing with TechnoTutor. Because my ability to communicate with Max has been a it. crucial part. Hey, what can you tell me if you want something? <laughs> How can you communicate to me? My, 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 I see. What do you want me to do? Do you need my support? Yeah. What do you need me to do? Well, I'm not going to stop the video, but I will support you if you need me to get that off. I need you to get that off. Okay, I'll get it off. Um, but his ability to speak effectively and communicate with me what he needs is a big, crucial part of all this. Okay, so the secondary thing is being able to do self-forgiveness. Because if you're in moments of extreme frustration, like that is the better than anything that's the way to support yourself and also to start to remove these automated habits and patterns of yelling and frustration because there's nothing actually legitimately frustrating about his expression that's coming through it's all in our heads right so a major thing where did it go a major thing that we can do though that I've really started implementing I, I mean it's been a while but but it's been like the next stage for me the next step for me has been really really fundamentally relating to what he's going through instead of going into frustration so for example I want to give this example I have, I've got these flowers out front not a big deal but this is a really this is kind of like an interesting example right because these are pretty and they're out front of your house and you know you pay money for them and uh he was picking these like a lot and we already went through one batch this is like the second one because i like them they look nice right so um uh, but he loves picking these like if we're out front and we're out front a lot because Cindy will fall asleep in the car and then we come out and play while she sleeps and then she wakes up um but he loves picking these and throwing the petals like everywhere. And it's interesting because within myself, I'm like, that frustration comes up of like this, a thought of, oh, you know, he's destroying something that belongs to me. That's like my thing. And I'm sure, I guarantee you have experienced this if you're a mother, because like it's kind of built in to us being moms like make the house look nice and have your things and dads have that too right so if you're a dad probably you've gone through this where like your child is doing something to something that belongs to you or something that you 
you know to be careful with but they don't or they're like really enjoying destroying it or something you know like not with the dis- they're not within themselves necessarily going through i'm destroying this but they're just expressing themselves and then you're going through oh, i don't want that to get destroyed so um a really cool thing to do especially because i've been working with myself on supporting myself through like forgiving my childhood and forgiving a lot of the wrongs that I believe my parents did to me and all this kind of stuff when I was a kid. Um, so now it's really cool because we'll walk through together and if I'm, I support myself too, whenever I get frustrated as much as possible, right? Cause I'm not always perfect, but to breathe and then just to stop whatever I'm doing because it removes the emergency. Right? It's just being here, stopping. So so when he's picking these things, the first time that this had happened, I just had to sit and breathe and not try to stop him from doing something. Like not try to stop him from grabbing them or ripping them off, just to really breathe and let the point go. Uh, but not stopping there because it'll come back again if that's the only point. So then I was, I was looking at um, when I was a kid, I have this very vivid memory now. I didn't remember this before, but like I have this vivid memory that I've looked at, like while I'm looking at how is he himself playing and and doing this of picking flowers and spreading petals everywhere and just having so much fun doing that in our backyard. Um, I don't know. I can't, I don't have the memory of how my mom responded to that, but I'm sure... (laughs) I mean, my mom is very specific about planting all her flowers, so I'm sure she had points that she's, she walked through with that. And she does, I've talked to her about it, she doesn't remember. Mom, well, I'm talking to Ruth. Okay, where's the other part? You were. So anyways, I, and I remember how I felt doing it. I remember feeling this great pleasure from picking these petals off and, um, throwing them everywhere, like scattering them. That was like, and, and then I, and then, so having that memory, then I sit and observed Max, um, playing with them and just really listened to what he was doing. So again, deleting the emergency, removing that, that feeling of trying to stop him from destroying something and just listening to what he's actually doing. And it was really cool because he's like picking these petals off and, and telling things, Oh, I'm feeding you something. And he would go around and feed all the other plants and then come back. And then sometimes he would get kind of rough with it, you know. And I was looking at, okay, instead of just being frustrated, because regardless of how I direct him, like if I stop him from doing this or, or, which I'm not going to, but maybe it was a situation where, like, for example, you needed to stop your kid from running out in the street. That would be something where you'd have to kind of step in. This, these, it doesn't really matter very much. Like... Yes, I paid money for them, but not very much. It was like three bucks. And um, so I, so actually checking if it's an emergency or not. But looking at um, really investigating and supporting myself to see what he's going through. Because I, it's so easy as an adult to forget what it's like to be a kid and that's because it's sort of like you've suppressed a lot of that and you spent a lot of your childhood not actually getting to direct yourself you had to uh basically follow the whims of everyone else and and not really understand what was going on and nobody really kind of sat and explained to you and it's not like you could have really understood it anyways because nobody really supported you to express yourself effectively and build an effective vocabulary so that you could understand what everybody was saying. Um, so there's a lot of suppression going on. And so to the point where you become an adult and you become very stagnant within your expression and within yourself and to the, to the point where so many adults do not like being around children because they have no ability to relate. Okay. I'll get her. You have no ability to relate to what that's like. Finny's waking up. Hi. Hi. Did you wake up? Yeah. You ready to get out? Why it's so crucial for you to spend as much time with your kids as possible because there's so many little things like this that will come up that you miss when you're not around them. 
where you someone could step in and support your kid to walk through something like for with max now it's like we've been talking about these plants and talking about what happens when you break all the petals off and um, not from an anger perspective but from a like this is what actually occurs and this is what i found hold on max this is what i found is if you do you know what i'm doing i don't know what are you what are you doing are you I'm checking the water no i'm, I'm filling all the water oh. oh okay oh that makes sense because there's water on the petals um when we when we're overly rough when we're unnecessarily rough um but, but it's the flowers. yeah that makes sense um, when we're unnecessarily rough and unnecessarily um, Wait, harsh with our kids, they actually it's, respond. Hey, hey, mom, mom, mom. Yes. This is trying to break off. That's true. You can break that off, though, if you want. What's going to break off what's on? Hmm? That's, a, that's a trimmer part. Oh, okay. Trimmer I see. You will find that the expression that comes out is even more extreme. That's the part where it takes all the flowers off. It takes all the flowers off. I see. Which part? Is it like scissors? No, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, The expression becomes more extreme, more intense. So the more you yell at your kids, the more... The expression comes towards either suppression within themselves, where they become afraid of you, or it's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's sort of like an energy sucking, right? Like if you're yelling, and and you're screaming, that generates an energy within, within the child. Like if I were to sit here and yell at you, and I could turn that on, right? Like turn on the bitchy mom yelling at you. Um, hi, you bring me flowers. <laughs> Um, I could literally generate a particular feeling within you. Um, and it's probably similar to what you, you, it'll bring up some memory, some automatic experience that you had as a child that happened during your first two years where you won't even necessarily have the direct memory of it, but you will go immediately into that experience because it's, it's contained within you. Right? So a big part and you don't have to do this just as a parent you can do this as an adult but it's so important for parents because you really need to be able to relate to your kid and 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 support yourself to not build up that frustration to ground that frustration Um, so you can actually just be here and present with your kid because then you can still direct them you don't have to it's not about just doing whatever they want and doing you know uh, just just giving in to everything because I think that's the opposite polarity that tends to happen like when uh, uh, with people who have so reacted to their authoritarian parents or the idea of authoritarian parenting um, they instead go into just allowing everything and I've seen examples well let's leave it in there because we don't want it to fall out it's right here so and then as then when you come from without frustration you can direct and I've found with them it's starting to fall that off into mom, so. them hearing me and hearing why I'm I'm suggesting something and taking the time to explain it has been much more supportive than you get the you get a result that's more akin to what you wanted, right? <laughs> Instead of it being something where it's just um, a free for all on either side. So hold on one second. You okay? Are you all right? Here, just leave it there. Just leave it there. It's okay. Um, I, I need to bat down. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. So, um, when you're when you're more direct and you support yourself to really understand what they're going through, then you can actually support them effectively. So. Um, I'm going to go because Sunny's, Sunny needs some support right now. She probably needs to go inside. So anyways, uh, I'll add more to this later in another video, but I just wanted to take some time and, and talk about that today. All right. See you guys later. Bye.